What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stay Hot Shots. I'm Bladen Kirk, and as many of you know, I'm a big-time Browns fan, so it is only natural that this episode is about The Bake Show. And when I woke up this morning, I was feeling pretty dangerous. Fake to Hyde, Mayfield, and Touchdown! Mayfield ties the rookie touchdown pass record. Mayfield goes to his weeds. Here they come. Outside of Cleveland, it seems as though many people have a pretty negative perception of Baker Mayfield. And I think it stems from this idea that there's this huge gap between like the 12th and the 13th best quarterback. News flash, there's not. And I know I'm going to come off as biased for saying this, but I don't see a significant difference between Baker Mayfield and Derek Hall between Baker Mayfield and Kirk Cousins, between Baker Mayfield and Ryan Tannehill. If the Browns today were to trade for Derek Carr or Kirk Cousins, what would they add to that offense that Baker Mayfield doesn't already do? But you know what? Let me not get ahead of myself. Let's not focus too much on what's to come. Let's take a look at Baker Mayfield's past. I have this jersey for a reason. I liked him as a rookie. I think given the situation that the Browns had with that coaching staff, you know, obviously Hugh Jackson, Greg Williams, Todd Haley, there was a lot of finagling that was going on. I think Baker Mayfield handled it very well. Now, obviously in his second season, 2019, uh, yeah, there, there, there was some question marks there. Things did not look great, but again, bad situation with Freddie Kittens as head coach. Todd Monken was not a very good offensive coordinator. They did not utilize that offense to the best of their ability. And I guarantee, you know, I said, you know, what would Derek Carr or Kirk Cousins add to that offense? If Derek Carr or Kirk Cousins or Ryan Tannehill were in that same offense with Freddie Kitchens, you would have seen a very similar result. Maybe not to the extent of the turnovers, but the offense would not have been productive. The Browns are probably still 6-10 and 10 that year. At the end of the day, Baker's a gunslinger, right? There were reasons he was getting Brett Favre comparisons. He has a big arm and he's not afraid to throw it downfield, throw it into coverage, give his receivers a chance to make a play. And sometimes that comes back to bite him, right? It does. We saw that sometimes he forces the football to Odell too much. But given a good situation, given Kevin Stefanski, the reigning coach of the year, as his coach, I I think the Browns are in a good spot with Baker Mayfield. I like what he adds to the team. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think Baker's perfect. Like I mentioned, he had a tendency to force the football to Odell Beckham, and whether or not that was a coaching error or a Baker error, that was something that we definitely saw a lot of. The other thing I think Baker does not do a very good job of, sometimes I don't think he reads the field quite as well as you would like him to. Sometimes I think he makes questionable decisions. People talk about his arrogance, you know, you know, waking up feeling dangerous. It's a cool motto, but if you don't actually deliver on that, it doesn't really matter. But I think Baker's skill set, and given, again, the coaching situation of Kevin Stefanski, it puts him and the Browns in a good situation to succeed so long as they utilize his skill set and do their best job of mitigating his errors. Now, I wouldn't expect for Baker to be like an MVP or anything, but I think given that this is the first full off season with Kevin Stefanski coming out of the COVID season, this is the second season with this offense, Odell is going to be healthy, it is very reasonable to have high expectations for the Browns and for Baker Mayfield. I said before that I think it's reasonable to think that Ryan Tannehill is a Super Bowl caliber quarterback, and I don't think there's a big difference between Ryan Tannehill and Baker Mayfield. The Browns, in my opinion, have one of the best rosters in the NFL, coming off of maybe one of the best off seasons in the NFL. There is no reason to believe that the Browns aren't a Super Bowl contender with Baker Mayfield at the helm. Believe in the land, believe in the bake show, we're going to be dangerous this year. But as always, thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment for what you want to see next. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you follow at Stay Hot Pod on TikTok and Twitter. Follow at Stay Hot BW on Instagram. We're going to be bringing a lot of great content to you guys in the future. And as always, catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs>